from the start. You're the one who knows my heart. You are there for me, Jesus. You are showing me the way. Love and kindness every day. You are helping me, Jesus. So I'll follow. Sunday and welcome back to our Sunday Bible lesson videos. I am super duper excited to have you guys here with me today. We have another amazing story from the Bible to go over and I cannot wait to share it with you. And since we're in the month of June now, you guys, that means we have a brand new Bible verse to learn also. So let's jump right in and get started. So last week in our Bible story, you guys, we learned all about the story of how Rebecca looked for ways to help others. And she looked and guess what? She found ways to help others. We can look for ways to help others too, you guys. Now let me ask you, who made you to help others? Yes, God made you to help others. Good job. Now this week's Bible story, you guys, is all about how Paul was walking down the road when a bright light made him stop. Jesus stopped Paul and told him to go to a city and wait. Why do you think Jesus stopped Paul and talked to him? That's right, because Jesus wanted Paul to be his friend forever. But guess what, you guys? Jesus doesn't just want Paul to be his friend forever. He wants everyone to be his friend forever. I'm going to ask you, who wants to be your friend forever? And I want you to say, Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Can we try that? Who wants to be your friend forever? Yes, Jesus does. Good job. Now we are going to learn this month's brand new Bible verse. So let's practice it one time with the motions and then say it two more times together, okay? So let's learn it. So you're going to take your pointer fingers and point them up and say, Jesus said, now motion your hand towards yourself. Come and march in place. Follow me. Open your hands like a book. Matthew 4, 19. Good job. Let's try it two more times, okay? So we're going to say, Jesus said, come follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Good job. One more time, okay? Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Great job, you guys. You did amazing. I had so much fun hanging out with you and telling you this month's brand new story and Bible verse. I hope you had a great time as well, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye! 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Hi friends, I'm Jayla and I just learned the most fun game from my friends. It's called red light, green light. When you see the green light, you move as fast as you can, like this. Green light. But when you see the red light, you have to stop and wait super fast, like this. Red light. Do you want to play this game with me by clapping? When I show you the green light, clap your hands. But when I show you the red light, stop. Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. Great job. That was so much fun. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Starting and stopping, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Yes, I've been playing Red Light, Green Light. It's a really fun game. It's good to be ready to move. Who? Who? I know someone else who made a big move, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through, who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. It's so good to see you on this beautiful day. I'm Justin the Mailman. I deliver mail to so many houses, and to get to each house, I follow a map. See, this map helps me go here, there, and everywhere. That reminds me, today I'm going to tell you about Jesus. And when I tell you about Jesus, I think you're going to want to follow him here, there, and everywhere. Can you try that with me? Here, there, and everywhere. Great job. Now, let me put the story mail in the mailbox. Now, on the count of three, say, ready, set, move, okay? One, two, three, ready, set, move. So our true story from the Bible begins with a man named Paul. Paul was not a friend of Jesus or anyone who was friends with Jesus. Paul would look for Jesus' friends and take them to jail. Oh no, that's not a good friend. But one day, that all changed. Paul was walking down a road to a city called Damascus. And all of a sudden, there was a bright light. Everyone say, that's so bright. That's so bright. Paul fell to his knees. Then he heard a voice ask, Paul, why don't you want to be my friend? Paul didn't know who was talking to him. So he asked, who are you? And who do you think it was? It was Jesus. Jesus was talking to Paul. Everyone say, wow, wow. Jesus told Paul to go into the city and wait to be told what to do. When Paul stood up and opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. The people with him had to help Paul go to the city. When Paul got there, he waited to see what Jesus wanted him to do. When Paul met Jesus, Paul's life changed forever because now Paul knew that Jesus is alive. And we know that Jesus is alive too and that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Paul met Jesus and wanted to follow him too. Thanks, Ollie. 
Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Paul saw a bright light, and it made him stop, and he heard Jesus talk to him. Jesus changed Paul's life forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I know if I stop or if I go. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. See you next time. Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Jesus said, come, follow me. Matthew 4, 19.